Hello, this is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I am here today to do an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. Do what makes you sparkle. <laughs> um, I know, I know, I know. I said I'm not going to be buying as much and I'm really trying not to but I was a bit scuppered by having some birthday and Christmas money to spend and like what else am I going to spend it on but diamond paintings right? <laughs> So this is one that came out last week, um, so like the 21st of January, I think, um, when Diamond Art Club does their Saturday releases. And I had some birthday money from my in-laws and this one painting came out and I don't know why I'm being cagey, like you don't know what it is, like you've seen the title. <laughs> so yeah, Magic Wrap came out. And um, let's take a look. Ah! <laughs> I also got a single placer as I often do to just make up the make up the cost to the free shipping limit because I use those a lot on all my different pens and I'm just off camera going to check my postage yeah um so if you have bought anything from Diamond Art Club recently be aware that they are putting a one-time use code in a lot of their packing slips for buy one get one 50% off which is obviously a really good code so I'm just putting that to the side safely. Yeah. So Magic Rats by Sarah Richter. It came out and this is not my style of painting. This is not the sort of thing that I go for. It's quite dark and a bit random, but I was so drawn to it. I just kept coming back and looking at it. So it came out and I was just like every couple of minutes I was like, mm, just going and having a look and then I went and found the official sneak peek video which I think was from this Rachel Crafts um I'm not sure I've got her YouTube name quite right there um but yeah I had a look and I just thought yeah I think I'm gonna have to buy it I've got the money because it's birthday money so that's that's guilt-free <laughs> doesn't count that I'm trying to spend less on diamond paintings um yeah so I bought it and actually I buy in the um, the early release section. So if you spend a certain amount with Diamond Art Club, you get to be in the diamond tier of purchases and you get an early release window. So paintings come out and we get an extra half an hour to buy them. So this stayed in stock all through that early release. Um, but then when it went to general release, I noticed it sold out really quickly. So I guess it is a pretty popular one. It wasn't limited edition. So if you like this, it should be back. I think this is one of those ones that's going to look amazing when it's done because of all of this dark background that's going to be really sparkly. So it's 55.8 centimetres by 70.7 centimetres and it has square drills. You can always tell with Diamond Art Club what size, what shape diamond they have because you'll either have a blue square for square drills or a pink round circle for rounds. So let's take a look. Okay, have a look at our toolkit. I always like to put this small sticker on the side of the box. I'm explaining the justification for why I bought this. And then this last Saturday, I bought two more paintings and I did not have any more birthday money. <laughs> I had sold quite a lot of a paint, uh, uh, quite a lot of paintings recently on DStash which is something that I do quite often where I buy paintings and at the time I love them. I'm definitely going to do them. I really need to have that painting. But then if I don't get round to them, sometimes like a few months or years down the line, they just, usually what happens is I still look at them and like them. So it's quite a wrench to sell them, but I've bought so many other ones since that I like more and I just sort of think it's never going to reach the top of the queue. Um, and I can't make myself work on things that I really don't want to work with because I've tried that before and you, you'll you have seen all the angst I've had on previous videos where I'm just, I'm not enjoying a painting so I find it hard to work on. Right, let's get all this out. Oh. Okay, so as is typical for Diamond Art Club, in any kits that have come out in the past six months or so, you're probably almost certainly going to get this toolkit. If you buy a kit that came into stock a lot longer ago, you might find it still has their older style toolkit, which has everything you need, but doesn't have a few of the extras. This one, we have the applicator, 
and squishy. They call it a comfort grip. I call it a squishy. <laughs> a heart-shaped wax container with two plates of wax. I do really rate this pink wax. Um, I use it a fair amount. I, I don't use it quite as much at the moment um, because I've been experimenting more with using different putties in my multi-placer and I'm multi-placing more and more often. And I do use this in multi-placers, but I have found better options for multi-placers. Still, it is a good wax. Craft tray. We have the white one that they've started releasing more recently, which is nice um, to not be able to see through and be distracted from what's underneath. And this is a tray stopper. Sometimes people get these kits and they don't, if this is separate, they're not quite sure what it is. It's a little tray stopper. It goes in there and you can block off the tray so your drills won't come out. Multi-placers times two. These are the super thin plastic ones that I do use a lot. I actually prefer these to metal multi-placers. I'm trying to get used to metal multi-placers because then they won't wear down. Um, but I struggle to find ones that are as thin. I've only found a couple. Anyway, we got a full placer and a seven placer. So they will go in my stash. Then we have the cover minder. Oh, Let's see, is it all in one piece? Yeah, sometimes you find the magnets come off, but this one is actually all in one piece. Now, is his ear supposed to be down like that? Or has he got squished in manufacture? <laughs> I assume it's supposed to be down. He is really sweet. And then we get washi tape. Got a nice flowery one here. And we get Ziploc baggies, which I put aside and then use when I'm kitting down and some tweezers because it is a square painting if you've got a toolkit out just stab myself <laughs> it's really sharp um in fact these ones are insanely sharp even amongst murder tweezers as they are often known um yeah if you've got a toolkit from diamond art club and you're wondering why you don't have tweezers chances are you've bought a round kit they only provide them with square kits um because some people actually um, use tweezers for placing drills on square kits. I assume it's the rationale for why they're with square kits and not with rounds. I use them mainly for picking drills and bits of fluff off my paintings because I can't get the hang of, of tweezering drills on. Um, mainly because I think I work on an easel. Like You probably need to be the kind of person that works on it flat for that to work for you. But anyway, let's see if I can fit all this in. Sometimes it goes better than other times when I try and put it away. That's not too bad. So let's get that all sealed up and take a look at the painting. Okay, putting that to one side. Let's have a look. One of the things that was quite exciting about the new releases last week is that Diamond Art Club has released a new kind of drill with them. So we still have our AB drills, Aurora Borealis drills, which I often highlight in paintings. And they're drills which have an extra special coating on them. But now, as well as a few other kinds of special drills, we also have fairy dust drills. So, oh yeah, I forgot, that's the other thing about this one. It's got 71 colours. So I've got two sheets here. Let's show you a closer a bigger clearer picture of the artwork so yeah we have a rat with rainbow colored spines and tail like i said it's random it's not one i'd normally go for and yet i just i couldn't stop looking at it it's going to be really pretty now where are our special drills oh we've got yeah this i think we've got a crystal drill as well so we've got four no Two AB drills with a DMC code of under 150. Looks like a purple one and a pale blue splash grey one. And then we've got that L code normally means what I would call a crystal drill. Um, Diamond Art Club often calls them iridescent drills. People call them different names, but one that looks like a sort of glass effect, like it's not opaque. And then the Z code, I think, precedes their new fairy dust drills, which as you will see, if I can find them in the package, are basically glitter drills. So that's exciting. Right, I'll just cover this up quickly. So if you've never bought from Diamond Art Club before and this is your very first purchase, you will find this leaflet in here. 
and it's just got a thank you from the owners of the company it tells you what's included in your kit it invites you to join their vip facebook group which you're eligible to join if you've made a purchase directly from them not if you've only purchased on dstash you've got a link to a step-by-step -step video instructions and you've got written step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond paint and then on the back we've got some tips and tricks and a 10 percent off purchase code you can generally do better than that you can generally get at least 15% off a purchase from Diamond Art Club. I mean, exactly. <laughs> there is a 20% off the first time that you purchase through their app. And there's, there's often other codes around. So yeah, the price that you see on the website is a fair bit higher than what you generally end up paying by the time you factored in discount codes and also rewards points that you'll be eligible for, which will be between 10 and 15% of the value of your purchase. And then you have points sitting on your account that you can use against another purchase. So yeah, I always like to point that out because Diamond Art Club is one of the more expensive companies out there, but they're not quite as expensive as they seem at first glance. So just having a look at these symbols because there's so many i'm wondering what symbols they've chosen for them all but they seem to have managed to find a good range of normal symbols i'm not spotting anything too random I'm not seen that one before um a lot of alphanumeric ones which you'd expect they could probably use more of those and you'd think that 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 would help <laughs> To, to separate them out. I'm wondering if there's any that are going to be very similar. I don't know. I don't see any problem ones. Sometimes you don't pick it out till you start working on it. I very rarely had issues with Diamond Art Club symbols though. It's generally very, very clear. So I don't want to get all the drills out because I won't get them rolled up again. But I do want to have a look at our special drills. So this will be that crystal drill, that gold crystal drill. And I'm definitely going to pick out where that is on the canvas. I have a good idea, but I think you'll see what I mean when that's going to be, when I say that's going to be really nicely rendered. Now, can I spot the other special drills? Ah, there's my fairy dust one, but I think I'm going to have to look in here to, to get it to a point where you can see them. Oh my goodness, where is the edge of this bag? <laughs> I've been round and round it and I can't find it. Here we are. Okay. I'm not sure how clearly the camera is going to pick this up. I'll try and turn them a bit so that you can see them glinting. I think this is something that you'll see a lot more clearly in the tray. It looks quite subtle in the bag, but I've seen people line them up in trays and it's, it's a lot less subtle. But basically, we've got here a white drill. And then instead of the traditional sort of AB coating, we've got glitter. Hopefully that is visible to you. So that's going to be fun. Just, you know, having something a bit new and different. Now, can I spot the ABs while I've got it open? Apologies if you're not interested in this. A lot of people do like spotting the special drills, so that's where I'm trying to pull them out. But I can't at the moment see them. Ah, here's one. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at that grey AB with the sort of rain, rainbow coating on it. That is gorgeous. Love that. And the other one was a purple, wasn't it? Can I find it? I see lots of purples, but none of them are ABs. Okay, they were really hidden. <laughs> but there you go, there is the other AB colour. Okay. Other things to note, there is a lot of black. Uh, that's one. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bags of black drills. I think that is a personal record. I don't think I've ever had more black in a painting than that. But you'd expect that looking at the image, right? That there would be a lot of black on it. Right, let's look at the canvas. I've moved the camera up a little bit just so you can hopefully see a bit more of it, but I will pan over it so you can see it properly. As usual, we've got a lovely soft canvas. Diamond Art Club uses a tarpaulin canvas, which is self-flattening. Um, so I could just unroll this and leave it and it would flatten, but in the name of expediency, I'm going to roll it back on itself, which I can do because it's poured glue and that will get it nice and flat for me to show you now. Right. It's so cute. Here is my magic rat. He is adorable. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So obviously the rat is a really focal piece of the painting, but there's actually lots of little details in it, which I think is part of the fun. You've got lots of different like pots of ointment and stuff. These books are going to feature heavily with the use of those special drills. And you're really going to see why they've put those gold crystals in when I pan over this area a bit closer, because they're really bringing out the details of the books, which, of course, is, is very in keeping with, you know, old books how they're bound they often have gold lettering on the side i love the bright pops of color we're gonna get you know all this blackness and then some real pink real bright pink up here okay i'm going to pan over this a bit more closely and then we'll try and pick out a few more details together <laughs> going to try and point out where some of the special drills come in so looking at the key symbol number one is that purple ab and i can see quite a lot of that in the rat's tail um i can also see some in the spine so that's just going to add some extra sparkle to those to draw the attention a little bit up here as well with the flowers Looking for the symbol number two, which is that beautiful grey AB. I find that mostly in the outlines of different pots. Um, I was hoping I would find some in the wrap, but I don't think I see any. But lots of pots and ointments and things. So I, I guess that's light, light glinting off them as they sit on their shelves. And up here in this corner, which I guess is going to be like flowers. Not as many of those as I would like because those are gorgeous ABs. Here they are in the window as well. And then coming down to the bottom, we have our crystal drill is this two lines type situation. And as I was saying before, but I don't think I had in the camera angle, there's loads of that in the books. So you've got these old bound books and you've got magic rats in that you've got sections here so yeah that 
I need to be quick because my phone just stopped recording because of lack of storage space. So I've just deleted a few things, but I don't have very much space. So yeah, those gold crystals feature in the books, which is really in fitting with, I think, how old books tend to be bound. And the other thing to just quickly point out is this dot here is the glitter diamond, um, the fairy dust diamond, and they are peppered very liberally through the rat. So that rat is going to sparkle. I'm really excited about this one. I know it's not my normal style, but I absolutely see myself working on this sometime soon. And I'm really happy I managed to get it. So I'm going to cut this off quickly now before I lose uh, the capacity to film again um, and say goodbye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon. Bye.